Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Y'all remember this? Well, we cut down our dead oak tree with the little cobalt 12 inch chainsaw. Today, we're gonna burn out the stump. Now, here's the deal. I'm not going to cut this down lower. I'm gonna set the sucker on fire just like it is and see how long it takes us to get rid of this stump. It is half hollow and I've got several ideas to try, but we'll be able to set fire to the center of it and see what we can come up with. Now we are supposed to get some good rain tomorrow, but today it's really dry. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the box blade, make us a fire break around this and probably go fill up our five gallon bucket of water and then light a fire and sit back and relax and see how this goes. So we made us a nice little, at least five foot wide circle, uh, more like eight to 10 um, around our stump. We got the dead grass back, so should be good to go there. We are just about ready to light this thing up. So I came up here with the idea of getting this stump started burning and then maybe just kicking back and relaxing a little bit. Brought me a lunch up here and uh, when I came up here, realized I had another tree fall. Uh, small tree, but anyway, that means I got a little bit of work to do while the stump burns. So I guess I'll go ahead and uh, chop the limbs off that and clean it up and get it out of the way. And that is why I love this little cobalt chainsaw. It's a perfect trail saw. I literally, in real time, cut this tree up, limbed it out, cut it into firewood chunks in under four minutes. And I started with three bars, I'm down to one. Um, just super handy, love the thing. Perfect day to be out, getting a few things done, hanging out, love it. Now I kind of had intentions of using my cobalt shop blower to feed this fire and make sure this stump burns well. But as it turns out, it's got its own kind of self-feeding mechanism built into this stump because the way it's rotted out with the holes in it and the breeze that we've got today, it's just feeding that fire right inside the stump. And we've got just a, a beautiful fire going here that is probably gonna do a pretty good job of getting rid of this stump. So rather than wasting running down my batteries on my uh, shop blower, I'm just gonna let it burn. All right guys, so I wanted to take just a minute to talk to you a little bit about our YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name's Lucas, and we share 
life on Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. Everything from taking care of the cows and goats and chickens and turkeys and ducks to planting our garden, to building our shop, to working on cars, riding dirt bikes, ATVs, fishing, hunting, all the things that we do that are country life on Peaks Peak Hobby Homestead. Now, I'm having this little talk because I kind of feel like our channel on YouTube has a little bit of an identity crisis. Now, I feel like this is just sharing our life and so it all is consistent and makes sense to me because this is how I live. But if you joined our channel and subscribe because you watch us build our shop or you watch us work on cars and get things running, then you may wonder, why is this guy posting videos of burning out a stump? But that's country life. So I need your help. I would like your feedback as to what are your thoughts about the diverse content? Because here's the thing, YouTube is looking at all the people that subscribe to my channel and evaluating the type of videos that you watch to determine whether to suggest my videos to you or to other people like you. So if you're a car guy, but I'm constantly doing farm content, then my videos may not be suggested to the right people. And so I've been trying to decide what's the best approach for me and my channel. Should I continue to just show everything that is country life and let the chips fall where they fall? Or should I narrow down my content choices and just share with you the outdoors videos and uh, the hunting or fishing or the farming and gardening? Tell me what's your favorite and tell me whether you watch the other types of videos that maybe don't fit into those favorites categories. And maybe that'll help me decide which direction to go with my content. I work really hard to put these videos together and share content, but at the same time, I'm also doing this to try to make a little bit of money. And if, not, if I'm not making good business decisions with the type of content that I share, then ultimately I'm just going to get burned out because it's not going to be rewarding. So. Hope that all makes sense to you. And I just like a little bit of your input. So I hope that you all will do that. Comment down below, let us know what you think. And if you do like our content, be sure and subscribe to our channel, like the videos because that helps YouTube know that people are watching and it promotes the videos that we're making. All right, back to the stump. <music> We've been burning for about two hours, making real good progress. Expect this to fully burn through the night, so hopefully we can get some good footage of that, uh, time lapse or whatever. I actually have got me a new little tool that's going to assist in that because I don't have any batteries that will make it through the night on my GoPro camera, but I got a Cobalt 24 volt power source. My wife actually stopped and picked it up on her way home, so I'll have that to hook up to where hopefully I can power the camera through the night and get some time lapse of this. So that ought to be pretty cool. While this was burning and I got everything kind of taken care of here, I went ahead and I picked up all that wood from the little tree we cut up. I took it down to the pond and then I went by the dirt bike track. And since I had the box blade on, I, uh, easy now. I drug a little bit of dirt into a hump. We're not ready for jumps yet, but I thought I'd make a few little hills in the track and so I worked on that for just a few minutes and then come on back up here and I'll hang out for a little bit more. burning for three hours now and I can tell you this spot where I'm recording ow, <laughs> is a lot hotter than it was last time I checked in. Still going strong and 
I don't know if it just continues to burn hotter or if it's just the fact that this side's totally open now and all the heat's being directed this way, but it is smoking hot here about five feet away from the stump. number six of the stump burning and it's making progress still really hot maybe not quite as hot as it was earlier mainly because the wind has died down oh i thought i would show you real quick here's that little power source that i had my wife pick up at lowe's um, you just put your 24 volt battery on it and then you have a usb power source which i can plug into my gopro and we'll have power tonight mm -hmm. Well, I am going to call it a night, get ready to head to the house, but I am leaving time lapse on the stump to let it work overnight and we'll see what we've got in the morning. I think we've got her set up to charge to where it should sustain the battery all night. Well guys, this is not exactly the ending to the video that I expected to be shooting. But unfortunately, the remnants of the rain from Hurricane Ian have rolled in here and they're putting out my smoldering stump. I really expected this stump to smolder on for several days until it was gone. But as you can see, we have a lot of stump left. And we started with a lot of stump, so it was pretty ambitious to think that we were going to burn it completely out. But the rain's putting this out as we speak. I'm getting rain on right now. So what we're going to have to do is a little bit later on when things dry back out, stack up some good dry wood on it, get her burning again, and uh, try for round two. This is the life of burning a stump. But hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I appreciate you all watching, and you all have a good day. Mm -hmm.